It's Anzac Day tomorrow, so before the two-minute homily, I give thanks to God for all who served our country in times of war and peace. We especially honour those who paid the supreme sacrifice, who gave everything, lest we forget. Turning to the readings today, we are an Easter people walking together, but that doesn't mean we won't get fearful or sometimes feel that peace is far away. But the fear and the losses that will inevitably hit us are not the end of the story. In the Gospel, the disciples are fearful, hiding behind closed doors. Jesus comes amongst them, reassures them and says, Peace be with you. He shows them his hands and his side. Yes, it's me, he says. Their fear now turns to joy. Jesus tells them they are to be helpers in the mission that he has from the Father. He sends them, us, to go out and share God's love and mercy where it's needed. Jesus also breathes the Spirit on the disciples and on us, a spirit of courage when courage is lacking, overcoming our doubts and calling us to serve the homeless and the forgotten, being hope sharers and peace bringers, shining real love into the darkest corners of this world. We don't have to look far to see this. I see it when out with Queensland Police and Mission Australia and the City Council checking on the welfare of the inner city homeless, waking up on steps and in forgotten alcoves, offering them practical support. And we see it recently in defence members wading through mud to help the flood affected, week after week, cleaning, helping and restoring. There's a book that says, feel the fear and do it anyway. Easier said than done, easier read about than done. So in this Easter season, why not think about what brings you fear and doubt? What stops you in your tracks and ask the risen Jesus to enter into those inner places and heal them? Why not look around to see the poverty and loneliness and say, if not me, then who will share the good news of a risen and merciful Jesus? And as we go, Jesus offers us his abundant peace and sends God's spirit to go with us right into our hearts as we go about noticing and serving others.